Alright, we're gonna need yeah, we're gonna need the iron. Alright, let's get out of here. Open fire. Reload. Open fire. Oh my oh wow, we're taking hits. Oh boy. Get back. Hold him back, boys. Oh wow. That is one heck of a oh boy. Oh that in the face. That's a horde. That's a horde. There we go. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to yet another post-apocalyptic zombie survival invasion crafting building simulator. This one known as Zelter, a game taking place, I believe, like in South Korea, where like a foreign exchange student or we're a Korean national who is living there during the outbreak, and now we have to build a base and bring everyone together in order to try to survive against all these waves of enemies. This game looks really cool, really promising with like a top-down art style that really is appealing. Unfortunately, only single player, but really uh, good enough to where I want it to be multiplayer. It'd be awesome to see more games like this one. And if you want to see more games like this one, make sure you click tap below up and destroy that like button. And of course, subscribe if you're new here. You guys have been amazing lately. Somebody recently said that my videos make them think more positively about themselves. And that was, that was a wonderful thing to hear. So thank you guys for telling me that my videos mean so much to you. It's really an amazing thing to hear. Like, you guys don't have to comment like that. But for somebody to say, oh, hey, it's bright my day. Thank you. That, that means the world to me. So thank you very much for all your pleasant comments, support, and whatnot. This game available, by the way, on October 22nd on PC. Looks really good. So let's go ahead and start ourselves a new shelter, a new character, and see what we can do. Ah, here we are. Oh, look at this bag. I like this. We've got ourselves some handgun and a, and a bullets over here. We've got ourselves a little, uh, like, external battery pack. I like the art style of this game already. And as you can see, we're ta uh, it's taking place in Korea. So um, let's go ahead and try our name here. Looks like we can choose to be a boy or a girl if we want. Oh, that's cool. She gets the red bag. Oh, man, I want to be... Okay. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and go with a different uh, hairstyle. Let's go with uh, maybe that one. Yep, that looks good to me. And let's begin in Zelter. I guess Zelter is short for zombie shelter. So Zelter, I, I guess that's what we're doing is we're building like a bunker. And here we are. I do not like that hat at all. Let's take that off right away. There we go. Cool. Oh, there we go. Now we look sweet. Uh, weird how we kind of don't have eyes. It's just like these weird indents where eyes should go. Oh, look, we can do a thriller. Wait, that's not, okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got here. We got ourselves an axe, a couple of apples for free. Looks like we got new recipes popping up like crazy on the left side. Right, we're going to try to cover as much of this game in the shortest amount of time possible. So again, if you guys are liking this one, let me know. Uh, because I already love this. This art style and stuff is really cool to me. I like this. And it's working fluidly. Oh, wow, we're finding a lot of free stuff. We don't even have to cut down things at all. All right, so there's a whole city around us. It looks like there's also a nice fence and some sort of material up there, too. So we're in a park. It looks like we're surrounded by a fence, so I'm assuming we'll probably have to either mend the fence or patch holes in the fence, and then we'll have to try to uh, also upgrade our main HQ, the building you saw in the center there a second ago. Let's look around and see what else we can find. Looks like we can also craft things. Again, you can see here we have our bag, uh, which is a waste bag. So it's like a fanny pack, maybe. Uh, looks like we also have the ability to craft things, such as a stone axe, wooden plank, and crossbow. What? Cool. We're going to need planks for that, though. And then also the tablet. So that tells us about our thirst, hunger, status, and crew. So we can get all these different types of people recruited. We can unlock all sorts of different types of recipes. The map will probably unlock as we explore more. It looks like it also had low battery to it. I don't know if we'll actually have to make, like, uh, maybe solar panels or something like that in order to charge it, but that might just be a little artistic uh, flair just to make it look cool. Well, at least we have an axe on us. We also have a handgun, too, if you saw that in my hand a minute ago. It looks like a, just a revolver, so we'll see exactly how that works out. I want to look around here and see if there's any zombies in our territory. This fence is looking really nice, though. Dumpster might be useful for supply. There could be something in there. I don't see any zombies here. Lots of trash sitting around. So we are definitely in a nice park. This is definitely Asia. They have a lot of these here. Feels a little bit more like Japan than it does Korea. But let's go ahead and keep looking. Oh, there's some military stuff here. Okay, so there's a military checkpoint. Nobody's around, though. Would be worth checking that truck. Don't know if there's any way for us to get out of here, but I kind of don't want to, you know, put a hole in the fence if we don't have to. There could be a gate. Let's keep grabbing supply, though. Well, wow, lots of nice free rocks for us. 
like the noises too, by the way. Very satisfying to hear when you pick something up. All right, I don't see any way out of here at the moment. There could have been a gate. I just didn't see it. I'm looking around for all sorts of items and especially trying to avoid zombies. Oh, there we are. Big gaping hole in the fence. That's a good way to start. All right, let's go up this way then. What is that? Oh, what is this here? Can we read? No? Okay. Well, this is where we started, I think, so we'll have to uh, fortify this area and uh, defend it from zombies. So it'd be kind of cool if we could build several barriers and give other survivors weapons and try to hold the line. Let's go down and check that uh, little military checkpoint, though. That could be very useful for supply. Let's see. Does Korea drive on the left or the right side of the road? I actually don't know. I know Japan drives on the left. I don't know about Korea. I think it's the right side. Look like there's any way to check these vehicles out. <laughs> we can hit it with an axe, though. Now, yeah, there's a day-night cycle in the upper left corner of the map, too, you can see there. So I'm assuming the first day is probably free for you to kind of just walk around and gather supplies. But after that, there's probably going to be a, con a continuous zombie swarm. No, nothing there. Hmm. Well, the whole point of the game is to explore. We don't necessarily have to set up our base there either. We could set it up pretty much anywhere, I suppose. And it looks like this roadblock won't allow us to go any further north. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's way past these trucks, so... Okay, let's head back into our uh, base and go inside the building. See what we find there. Okay, can we cut these leaves? Are these uh, medicinal at all? No? Okay. All right. Let's head back in. I think it's a little weird here. The The aiming thing is kind of weird, but I like how it works in more of a four-dimensional. Kind of works like in a maybe an eight-dimensional. Ooh. What's that stuff up top? I don't know. Ah, good. So here's our base. And I think we can actually do farming and stuff in here, too. So we have a safe room. Looks like there's a vent in here, too. But there's really nothing in this building. But there is metal bars on the doors. So we do have a chance to build stuff if we need to. So if we craft, let's go ahead and start crafting something. Um, stone axe, we're going to need planks. So let's start making wooden planks then, now that we're home. It doesn't look like there's a crafting table at the moment. There we go. Uh, recipe for bonfire, general workbench. There we go, that's what we want. All right, I wonder what war he served in. Let's see. Go ahead and do another one. Boom. All right, so let's go with general workbench, and we'll put that in here then. Seems to be the only building to start out in. But you get the picture then. We're kind of like in the middle of a very busy downtown area where we're at a park. Nice. So we happen to find ourselves here. And it looks like four to build a crossbow. Might be a good backup weapon. Looks like a wooden club, bonfire, drawers for storage. What is that item? Maybe iron? Okay, let's make some more of those. Actually, I wonder if at the workbench we can make more um, wooden planks faster. Is there a way to do... Looks like we can actually do four at a time. So 35... Oh, three seconds each. Well, let's make like ten of those because that's going to be pretty much all of our stuff. Oh, they got to do them one at a time. Okay. Well, planks are going to be certainly useful. Everything's going to need to be made out of wood. So we'll take a little bit of time to do that. In the meantime, let's look at the screen to get a, a count, uh, a, a, acquainted. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Acquainted with what's on the screen. So this is health. This could be maybe like uh, energy until we have to sleep. Can't go into the bag or crafting or tablet while we're crafting. But, uh, oh, we are thirsty now. Okay, yep, that's definitely true. If we actually take a look at the tablet, we can see that. So, sleep, hunger and thirst, luck, charm, movement speed, crafting speed, attack and defense. wonder if that's random each time. Uh, oh, we've unlocked new recipes. So, if we um, make new stuff, maybe we'll unlock new stuff. Looks like there's some things there. Oh, so once we make the crossbow, we can then make arrows for it. Okay, so that'll unlock in a minute. Let's go ahead and make a cro uh, crossbow now. We already have a handgun, but we only have so many ammo uh, that we found. Like 20 or something. 20 rounds? I'm not sure what they are. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there you go. We can see the ammunition now. And, uh, yeah, we got 20 pistol ammo. So just general ammo. Tac 10, cooldown, 0.25 seconds. Revolver, primarily used by police. Can be crafted the workbench. Okay, so we can actually make these, too. All right, let's go for arrows now. Let's go ahead and make... Uh, oh, looks like we need some more sticks. I guess we could go uh, cut down some stuff. Wait, no. There's just some sitting here. Let's try to not waste energy if we don't have to. 
could be more uh, useful things for stone. Also, it looks like if you point in the direction in which you're running, yeah, you go faster. So a good idea to always keep that reticle out front. Wow, so many little tactics here. If we cut this down, does this give us more food? Oh, yes, it does. Good, so apple trees actually give apples. Perfect. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat. Oh, they didn't even make any noise when I ate. Yeah, I was hoping that would actually fill our thirst meter because there is a little bit of water in there. Probably a good idea for me to close the doors, huh? <laughs> Might be a good idea. There we go. Okay, uh, let's see what our tablet says now. Maybe it gave us a little bit of water, I'm not sure. Okay, let's make some arrows now. So in order to make that, we need just sticks. So let's just go ahead and make a full stack. 55 seconds for both of those, okay. Wait, that doesn't seem that long. I hope we're not crafting one at a time. Yeah, crafting complete. I hope that was a stack of them. Good, ten. All right, so we're making five at a time. Nice. Okay, uh, let's see. What about a storage bin of some sort? There, we did see a storage bin. Um, we have a stone hammer here. Maybe this will allow us to craft things. Let's try that. Like to build bigger things rather than the general workbench. Ah, simple bed is now available. Good. Let's try to make that. If we go into crafting... Uh, is there a way to actually put the hammer in our inventory? Well, we could select four. Okay, I'm, a I'm assuming the way it works is we'll get a blueprint for this, and then we'll have to put it down with the hammer. Let's see. So what do you think of the art style? I really, I actually really do like this. Uh, it reminds me of games like Graveyard Keeper, and again, with games like Among Us and Fall Guys being super popular, I don't think games have to look like, you know, triple A titles to be good. A game's appearance oftentimes isn't like the best... Uh, determining factor, I think, for whether it being good or not. I've seen games that are not that great looking, but they're tons of fun. Stardew Valley, for example. But that's a beautiful art style in its own. It doesn't have to look, like, breathtaking. All right, we need water. I don't know exactly how to get water. Let's cr keep crafting stuff. Maybe we'll find some way to... Oh, we have barricades here. We'll need screws for that, though. Uh, so let's see. We have a stone axe uh, that we found on the ground. We m made ourselves a hammer... We can make more planks. We're just going to need to find more materials. Oh, we have a wooden cup here. Okay, maybe we can put that outside. Let's go get some more wood then. So apparently our character is tired. It would be nice to see a little bit more of those stats on the screen. Like, for example, the warning for water did come up, but it doesn't show us how close we are to, like, you know, death. Although I don't know if that actually immediately kills us or if it slowly lowers our health. Who knows? There's a garden up there. I wonder how we can get over these fences. I really would like a way to get up there. Oh, there's like a box and stuff sitting there. I really would like to explore more, but we should probably start building. Now, if you guys want to see a full series on this one, I do too. These are the types of games where the first look doesn't really always give you the actual full look at the game. Quite obvious with, with the words first look. But there's quite a lot of stuff around us, and I'd like to go explore. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Like, for example, that garden up there. Maybe there's a survivor up there. I wonder where we'll go to uh, find other recruits. Also, I noticed there's some wood on top of the building there, so it'd be nice if we could actually get up there and go gather some materials. It actually looks like there's some pretty decent stuff up there, but I don't know if we can ever build a ladder to get up top. Okay, let's see if we can make a cup now. Maybe we can get water for that. So in order to make that, we need to go for, what was it, planks? Wooden planks, yeah. Uh, you're fatigued and lack of energy. Rest in a bed or a tent. I agree. We'll try to keep going a little bit further. If we rest, it's going to be nighttime, and I really don't. I really don't want zombie. Don't want. Stay away. Um, let's try to craft again. So we now have ourselves. Oh yeah, we have more items when we go to the actual crafting bench. That's cool. Let's make one of those then. All right, crafting complete. Let's take a look at uh, the tech tree. What is that under tablet? No, crafting. Uh, no, maybe it is tablet. Yeah, recipes. There it is. So let's see. Stone unlocks the furnace for us. That's new. We can then make charcoal and iron ingots, but we'll have to go find iron. Good luck finding that downtown. Maybe we can resmelt vehicle parts. Looks like we can... Oh, here we go. We can make a drawer, but I believe that takes ingots. So we're going to need to get down that way. So let's try to make a furnace then as our last thing. So we have nine out of three. Let's make at least one of those to get us started. Oh, the watch. Look at the watch. It changed uh, color 
to show like sunset now. That's awesome. Okay, now we got new recipes we can make. So we have to drag this to the hot bar so we can put it down. I don't think we need the hammer for anything. Because I can just put this down. Did I use it to make the bed? I can't recall now. Let's build this over here in the corner. Nope, just gets plopped down. Uh, okay, so it looks like we can make charcoal, but we're going to need wood for that. Uh, so we need sticks to make that. Okay, let's keep working. So obviously your first day pretty important, depending on... Uh, you know, how quickly you get started, then you can start on weapons and defense. Your first more important thing would be probably food and uh, shelter and uh, sleep. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can quickly make one of these now. Kind of seems like we're at a gas station or something, but in the middle of a uh, little park, I guess. Kind of weird. Okay, let's go ahead and go with four of those. Oh, do we actually have to stand there? Oh, crafting canceled. Oh, no. Well, you don't have to sit and monitor a... A fire? I guess this character is actually working the bellows, I suppose. Alright, well now with charcoal, we could feed that back into the furnace. Or maybe filter water? There could be multiple uses for it. So if we go to make iron, yeah, we're going to need the uh, ingots in or the um, charcoal in our hand as well as iron to make the ingots. That's a little annoying. It'd be nice if you could leave some of those materials behind. Let's go gather more sticks quickly. Likes It likes to give us freebies. I like that. If you walk around, yeah, that saves so much more energy. Eventually, I think we can clear all this land out to do farming. So that'll be cool. And actually, there's quite a bit of land here, so it'll be perfect for doing farming. I wish we could read some of these signs. I'd like to know exactly what's going on. Uh, if there was something that said, like, zombies take over the world, or if it's just start... Like, how long has this been going on? Is this day two, or, or what? Let's see, we'll eat a little bit more. Check that uh, thingy there. Let's eat one more time. Okay, so that looks like it mostly fills our uh, water, uh, food. Water we'll still need. Also, there's a little planter there. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be sleeping for, let's see, let's at least do eight hours of sleep. Let's see how that works. I like this too, by the way. No Wi-Fi, no cell phone signal, and a little bit of battery. I wonder if we actually have to build solar panels or something to charge our batteries. That'd be kind of cool if there was a way where we had to get minimal power for things like a cell phone or, or whatnot. Uh, night has fallen, sleeping has ended. Wow, it's like an indie song lyric. Yeah, I do not want to go outside. Let's craft a little bit more. Uh, barricade we could do when we get iron ingots. I don't know exactly where to get those. Do we have a pickaxe that we can make? Let's check the uh, tablet. Oh, you were full. I didn't mean to eat an apple again. That's fine. It's easy to find those. Luckily, it's not hard to feed ourselves. That's good. Looks like there's a new crafting bench here when we get iron ingots. Looks like the furnace also unlocks something there, but we already put one down. Give me your movement. Maybe that's me. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting scared. Okay, I think I want to sleep until daytime a little bit more. Energy's actually not completely full. Let's go for another hour. There we go. Day has come. Sleeping has ended. <laughs> wow. Those indie song lyrics. Okay, let's go outside. Oh, it looks like branches and stuff just kind of fall at random all around the world. I like that. That's kind of cool. You know, obviously through a storm or wind or something, trees would uh, drop sticks all the time. That's cool. Okay, before we get popped, now that we're in day two, I'm going to actually bring out my nine and see if we can uh, pull out some defense here. There we go. And how do we put rounds in? No. You require water. Yes, I know. Is there a way to... Recipe for... Whoa, what? Oh, that seems to be broken. If you drop the ammo and pick it up again, you get a recipe for a submachine gun? Okay. So literally by just picking up 9mm rounds, you suddenly have this big brain moment where you're like, wait a minute, I can make an MP5. Okay, so let's take a look at the tablet. We're... How do we craft that? Let's see. Seems to be one crafting menu together. Must have... Yeah, this is early access, so it's probably not meant to pop up so early. Nothing under notifications. Nothing under maps. We can get some companions with us and take a look at our stats. That's about all. Oh, she seems to have reloaded the gun somehow. Only five uh, rounds in this gun by pressing R is how we reload. Makes sense. Okay, how do we get out of here? We got to go back to the uh, little village or little house. So we press shift, our character walks, so that's kind of helpful if we're trying to move cautiously through an area. 
So to get out of here, we have to actually go down. I wonder if we're going to see a zombie today. I like how it's been really quiet because it's adding a lot more suspense. Like, where are the zombies? What do they look like? Are they difficult to dispatch? Does it take a lot of ammunition? Are they are they fast? Will they, like, run right at you? Is there a way to get on the buses? Man, it'd be good to go on there and look for supply. That probably is a way where we get iron ore, but I might need something else to take them apart. Oh, there's No, there's no pathway down there. I, I really feel like, I wonder if there's a way through these fences, but a stone axe ain't going to break through a uh, iron fence like that. Can we go down in the sewers? Nope. Wait a minute. We can go this way. Uh-oh. I can hear him, boys. Okay, shh. All right, I can hear zombies around. What the hell is this thing? A backpack? I can't pick it up. Can't search drawers. Man, there's a, this is really cool detail, but I can't interact with anything except for sit down on the couch. Oh, we can sleep out in the field. So this is like a safe house. Very cool. No zombies. Shut the door. I don't want anyone coming up behind me. Wonder if there's other raiders and stuff here, too. Oh, there we go. Fully hydrated. We can actually find a faucet here. Beautiful. Okay, so we know that this is a very good spot for base, too. So this, hell, this might be even better than the uh, original starting area. Although that seems to be a better area for farming. There we go. We have ourselves... Oh, boy. Whoa, 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 sir. Get wrecked. Oh, it takes about... Three shots to put them down. That that gun looked really cool. I like the art style on that. Let's check the body. Is there anything useful? We're going to need that crossbow, too, on standby, just in case. Let's give that a shot, literally. There we go. Okay, kind of cheesy that you can make a crossbow out of just planks of wood. But I like it. Uh, let's see if we can shoot him. Looks like we actually... What? What was that music? Okay, I'm gonna try to sneak through. Looks like we can actually damage stuff. What's that music? Oh, that's haunting. Did you hear the kids laughing near the play? Hey, oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a spitter. Oh, and there's like a bloater to our right. Did you see that guy in the streets? Oh, wow, they do some damage. Okay, wow, this is incredibly dangerous out here. We might need to come back later, but I need to find out what else is down here. Okay, we have a cafe down here. Let's check it out. It doesn't look like the zombies are in door. Oh, boy. That one might come through the door. Let's be quiet. Mm, I don't know if they're smart enough to come through doors. I thought I could check the fridge. Okay, yeah, well, that's really nothing. Whoa, whoa, sir. Whoa, he's breaking the door. Oh, damn, they can come in. Sneak out the other side. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Well, we got some runners. Oh, boy. Let's just keep on running, girl. Or, or me, I got guy. Whoa, okay. So those guys explode. We know that now. Oh, this is fine. Keep running. All right, welcome back to base, everybody. I want to let you know I jumped ahead a little bit here. Uh, this is a recording from a future episode, though. The game was really giving me some trouble with the camera, so we've jumped ahead to what would be the second episode where now we're developing the submachine gun and getting some more mid to late game weaponry. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good. All right. Well, anyway, here's what's going to happen then. Uh, we're going to go into town and try to uh, find some metal. One of the issues in this game, very minor but very major at the same time, is the camera will glitch out and it won't be on your character anymore, which kind of makes it impossible to play. All you have to do is restart, but it's a very minor thing. Um, and it just kind of like was making me have to restart a few times. So luckily we had a good run here. Now I want to continue on with uh, doing all sorts of crafting in this game we have made a ton of charcoal and so thus we can 
basically smelt until our heart's content uh, for iron ore. If we get in any more iron pieces, we can smelt that down into iron ore. And once that's done, then we can make tons and tons of ammunition. In this case, we'll make the submachine gun ammo so we can unlock the rifle. And then the rifle will help us to unlock like the uh, fully automatic rifle, the battle rifle. Uh, and then also uh, a shotgun. So that'll be kind of cool a little bit later in the game. Now we're going to continue to make runs to town and uh, get bandages and stuff like that and heal up and craft those types of things because a as we go further into town, the enemies are just getting more and more difficult to deal with uh, because we lack ammunition and powerful weaponry. So luckily the submachine gun should be able to clear the room pretty easily. Unfortunately, it doesn't use ammunition for the pistol. It is an MP, meaning machine pistol, uh, mp5 so unfortunately we'll have to switch out our crossbow and stuff like that in exchange for the handgun now the reason we're doing this is because we were using uh the bow and arrow to try to conserve metal and now we're going to try to uh, go through everything that we've stored up for now and kill more zombies so they there's a bigger chance for them to drop am ammo and essentially what we're doing is we're trying to convert one ammo type to another by enticing more drops to come out of there uh in the future so uh, as you can see we're basically at base and we got a few more things to do uh, to build all of the stuff available in the game I don't I still don't know if there's farming or whatnot played this game for a few hours and I'm really starting to like it and uh, I already had before but there's it just seems really fun at going back to base crafting all that stuff and heading out again uh, it doesn't seem to be procedurally generated it seems to be the same world each time which is okay but I've noticed that the earlier we leave base uh, the more Oh, the less zombies there are, the more zombies come over time. Get a few more of those pop. Looks like we have some, uh, I think that's a rag over there, which will help us to craft more bandages or possibly the clothing station. There we go. A couple more zombies to deal with. There we go. Too bad you can't land a critical in this game. I don't I don't think there's a way to do headshots on these zombies. It seems like they always just take four rounds of uh, handgun ammo or maybe three from the crossbow. Alright, we're going to have to work our way around town. Oh, boomer. Oh, okay, that was a close one. And now we'll do some car mining here. We'll have... There we go. The zombie get us some uh, iron from these cars if they actually uh, destroy them, such as this sign here, too. We can actually get them to harvest things like copper for us or plastic or iron based on, uh, you know, whatever they're attacking. This will be plastic for the garbage cans. Nice. But we won't need it. It's always good to see what uh, will pop up. Plastic's not really needed for anything other than the water bottles at the moment. Let's see if we can get the traffic cones. We got a runner. And more people attacking over here. My goodness. All right, we're about to have ourselves a big swarm on us. Let's see how big of a swarm we can get. Trying to stay out of trouble. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, they coming. Oh, boy, are they coming. Whoa, that's way too many zombies, actually. If we get a spitter, it's going to be bad times. Oh, there's copper up there. Grab that and some more plastic. Wow, look at all the enemies. I think we have a spitter. And we got a boomer. Wow. Oh, boy. All right, this is going to be bad time. Oh, there's way too many of them. Broken arrow. Broken arrow. We got to get out of here. Oh, my goodness. They're attacking everything. All right, we're going to need... Yep, we're going to need the iron. All right, let's get out of here. Open fire. Reload. Open fire. Oh, my... Oh, wow. We're taking hits. Oh, boy. Get back. Hold them back, boys. Oh, wow. That is one heck of a... Oh, boy. Oh, that in the face. That's a horde. That's a horde. There we go. Good job, boys. Gotta get that metal. Nice. Whew. All right, more rags for us. That means more bandages and an axe to finish them off. Nice. The uh, metal axe is really the only thing you want to use. The uh, stone one I don't think really does any sort of damage at all. I'm going to head back home now and see what we can do about uh, getting more weapons and ammo prepared for later. And we'll also have to bandage up here 
a little bit and see what we can do. Okay, it looks like we're good to go. Healing takes place very slowly, by the way. With the bandages, it almost looks like it doesn't even work. It takes a very long time. And we'll go back inside now and start crafting some more ammunition. The SMG ammo should give us the, uh, well, after we create enough charcoal, then it'll give us what we need in just a little bit. All right, so the goal then is to try to create charcoal so then we can smelt all of that iron down and then make submachine gun rounds. And I believe that just requires iron, just like the uh, bullets do. The uh, pistol bullets and the submachine gun bullets both require iron ore, as where the uh, rifle ammo, I believe, requires uh, copper, since, you know, full metal jacket and such, it requires a, uh, you know, copper and iron to be put together to simulate that. Okay, we're almost ready. Here we go. All right, we'll see how it all works out for us. Wait, we accidentally cr uh, canceled our crafting. Looks like we can make a few more since we have a little bit less charcoal than what we needed. But uh, as I mentioned before, the thing you really want to make in this game is take a couple of days to gather a bunch of food, gather tons of sticks, make a huge stockpile of charcoal, and then of course uh, also make some ammunition so you can go on these little quick uh, runs to make the zombies work for you. So it's always good to have uh, Bob helping out. Bob, of course, any zombie who helps out, that's a Bob right there. Find a Bob in your life. Let's see. Alright, we're almost there. So we want to make at least one SMG ammo so we can unlock the rifle, and then we want to start making that to see if we can actually get a much better uh, gun to fire into the enemies there. So let's go ahead and make one of these. One stack of 30 should do us well. There we go. So now that's enough to at least give the SMG a clip of ammo. That's cool. So we'll have to make that uh, into this box right there. Perfect. And now we've unlocked our new recipe for what is called the RM1. What was that called? The R the RM1, yeah. Okay, so we'll need 8 steel, 4 planks, and 23 uh, screws to make uh, that thing. So we've already got 3 in the box. Let's make 3 screws... or. We have three screws in the box. We need to then make 20 screws out of the iron ingots that we have. It's going to take all night. Hopefully the zombies don't raid. I don't really have much in terms of weapons right now. Melee weapons are pretty good in the game. But, of course, you want to be able to use the guns to really keep them at bay. And that's the easiest way to deal with spitters. You don't really want to go near them. They're very dangerous. Now, it looks like the bandage is actually working. It just takes a long time to heal up over that amount of time. All right, let's make some steel. We needed, what, eight? Oh, we need more charcoal, it seems. All right, let's get the full stack of char... Uh-oh, did I hear zombies? One. Thought I heard zombies. Okay. Let's go ahead and make steel ingots. Oh, we only have enough for seven. Oh, and our backpack is full, too. Let's see here. We'll drop off the screws drop off the baseball bat. Actually, we can drop plastic in here, too. <laughs> Looks like we have more uh, iron pieces to melt down, so we'll have more than enough. Okay, let's see. We'll drop off another hat. I wonder if there'll be a trader eventually in the game. It'd be nice to get rid of things that we don't necessarily need. Okay, we've got all the charcoal that we have on us. So let's go with uh, more iron ingots. Yeah, we want to make everything into iron, either to make our gun or our ammunition. And we'll test out the rifle tomorrow. SMG is pretty good. It's more like the handgun, but just really a larger capacity. That's the thing you want to be most concerned about. Music kicking up. It's not too exciting right now. This is pretty relaxed. All right, let's see here. Four out of five, and we're done. Yay. I love the little fireworks that pop up. I can't get enough of that. All right. Now we need to make eight steel. Perfect. And uh, we're going to need some planks, too. So planks, steel, and screws go together to make a rifle. And we will be uh, good times with this. Bow, 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 bow. All 
All right, we're about halfway. So I don't know what to expect in this game later, but I'm really hoping that companions can do a lot of these things for you and there'll be a way where you can order people to stay at base, defend base, and then do jobs at base while you're away. Kind of like the monkeys in uh, The Survivalists where you can tell them to do things. It'd be kind of cool if you could tell your people what to make while you're away from base. Okay, we just need uh, four planks then. And we can make our fancy rifle. Let's see here. We should also heal up again too. Let's make sure we do that. Uh, it doesn't look like it worked. I'm pressing four. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to heal me anymore. Uh, okay. We need our screws. Oh, I love that noise. Okay. I like to click and drag. Okay. Um, we're going to need also some planks. Only a few of those are needed. Oh, that's full stack there. Okay. All right. And we have some copper, too, so we can smelt that, but one thing at a time. Fully hydrated. Well, that's a good thing. All right. Let's build our rifle. Then we'll have to build some ammo with that. And then, of course, when we build the ammo for this, it'll bring us to the next level. So the rifle, I believe, is semi-automatic. And that is going to hit much harder than the SMG, which firing less times is good news because that means less ammo usage, which means then we can divert the metal production or the metal supply to other production. And that'll bring us a lot of stuff. I'm going to do a quick sleep, though. We are getting pretty late here. It's 1 a.m. Almost done. There we go. All right, let's go to bed. And we have a nice safe spot to take a little nap. Let's do a good uh, eight-hour sleep. It won't give us full rest, but I think it'll be pretty close. But we can always drink uh, an energy drink or something to stave off the effects of... Uh, restlessness or whatever. Pretty close. Let's make some ammo. We won't be leaving base for a little bit anyway. Okay, rifle ammo requires copper and steel. Ooh, boy, that is expensive. Well, luckily we found some copper. Uh, that was around here somewhere. Let's see, where did I put that? Is it still on my person? It is. Okay. So let's melt that down. And then we'll need to make some more steel too. So now we got to figure out where to find some of these materials. Now we'll bring the rifle and see how effective that is in battle. Now we should be able to make 10 rounds of rifle ammunition. Looks like we might be able to craft more if we... Well, at least they make ammo pretty quickly. Oh, nice! And now we can craft the RM-16. And we can also... Cr I'm assuming that probably requires the same uh, materials. Oh, yeah, five pipe. Wow, we can make this, too. So it's basically going from... Oh, we can make a shotgun as well. It's like going from the uh, M1 Garand... Eh, maybe more like... Um, I would say more like the M14 to the M16. We can also make a shotgun. Looks like they both take the same materials. No. The uh, M16 takes less materials. By far. Well, kind of adjusted a little bit. Okay, well, now we've got lots of stuff to do. So let's go ahead and ditch the handgun for now. And I'd like to take out the MP5. I could make some more ammo with this, though, can I? Let's make another steel ingot. Which we, meet, we need more charcoal. So we'll have to craft some of that. Charcoal, let's make a full stack. Yeah, you can see why I made all the charcoal off-screen then. It takes a very long time to produce all of this stuff. And uh, I don't really feel threatened at base at all. But eventually there probably will be large horde attacks at base, which is why you're going to need to have uh, large fortress walls and things up in order to do that. All right, nice. Now we got all the materials here. Let's go ahead and build our... Rifle ammo again. After we make our steel ingot, just one more. And then we'll put everything away. I'm really excited to use this. I'm totally not even focused on what I'm doing. I'm really just excited to use our new weapon. Now with the rest of our ammo, it might be a good idea to make uh, SMG ammo. There we go. 
This will have to save us just in case we get attacked. Which we will, definitely. Okay, so now we've got our rifle. We've got our submachine gun. Great. Let's put that back. Grab the rest of this ammo. Beautiful. Now we have some regs here, too. Let's go with a rifle, submachine gun. And I can get rid of these regs, too. We'll leave these here. Okay, I think we're ready to go on a supply run. It just takes like two days to get ready for a supply run, and there's even mini supply runs within that. Okay. Now we're definitely going to have to come back and make some stuff out of this. Let's reload our rifle. I can hold more than 20 rounds. Probably 30. Okay. So now we got to go grab more iron. I don't know if we can make pickaxes and get iron from rocks. I'm hoping so, but it just seems easier to get the zombies mad and attack a car or something. That's a better tactic for me. Hope things like light posts. Is there trash down here? What is this? Ah, perfect. Well, it's just an apple. Actually, we probably haven't eaten in a while. There we go. All right, zombie territory. Find some more cars. Come on, boys. You're working for me. Let's go. 